I really want a crushed Ford Explorer. I also really want that unreleased Dino Trackers Explorer from like 1994 that was yellow and black. It was super cool and it never actually made it to stores. However, I only have one spare Ford Explorer. So today, I will be making the crushed Ford Explorer. I will crush you. Hey, can I crush it too? Please? You will need a Dremel. It's very important for this project and it's very dangerous. If you are not an adult, you also require an adult with a Dremel. It requires this kind of mini saw blade. Pliers. Millipot. Sandpaper. Pen knife. Me. I'm Crazy Clue Guy. I got an eye in the back of my head. I can see you. Phillips screwdriver. Smaller Phillips screwdriver. Paintbrush. Other paintbrush. Black paint. Brown paint. Or paintable mud. It's not real mud, but it looks like real mud. It's gritty and it got some shine to it. It's great stuff. A glass or container to hold the small parts for the Explorer that you take apart because you do not want to lose any screws or small parts. Hi, I'm good at losing screws. Barely got any left. You also need a flathead screwdriver for taking out the clips on the bottom of the vehicle. Side note, you can get the correct size uh, Jurassic Park sticker decal for the side of the vehicle. J-Rod Graphics on Instagram. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is look at the bottom of the vehicle. There's eight visible screws and there's two hidden screws. The two hidden screws are the trickiest ones and they're way in there in the back of the wheel. So that's why you need the uh, smaller Phillips screwdriver to get in there. These two uh, take out the seat. You can leave it in until you take the bottom off or you can just get the seat out through the door. So if there's four clips, you're gonna need to pry them out with a flathead screwdriver. Really gotta get in there to get them out. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this screwdriver in here so that this clip doesn't fall back into place while I do this one. One. This is one of the most frustrating parts of making a crushed explorer. Alright, one more clip to go. And we got it! Alright, uh, some of the pins might fall out when you pull it out, so just be careful. Make sure you know where everything is going. One of our pins is still stuck up in the seat here. And that's what you need your pliers for. You can put this over here. Now we have, uh, well, let's get this pin out first. This pin right here. Let's get it? Yes, we got it. All right. You can take out your back doors so that they don't fall anywhere. And your two front doors. Oh. You can take this out too, I forgot. You can actually leave this uh, together unless you're gonna paint the center console, but it comes out there if you wanna do that. So, there's two screws up here that you're gonna wanna take out. And then, this comes out, you can get your doors out. All right, and now, we're gonna take out the uh, sunroof and the back windows. So there are uh, four screws up here and a spring. Um, before you take out the back uh, windshield, you're gonna wanna take out your uh, rear light guards. Put those in the cup or container. You don't really need to take off the front grill. You can if you really want to, but it stays firmly in place. You kinda gotta push the windshield in on three of the sides at the same time and then it just pops right out. And now we can take this out and got our spring. And there you have it. The Explorer is disassembled. Please do not lose any parts because you will not be able to put it back together. Oh yeah, the windshield. 
So if you're crushing your Explorer, I don't know, you might want to have little bits of your windshield still in there. If you want to do that, you're going to have to cut the thing out with a Dremel as you uh, wish. Uh, if not, you just kind of rip the thing out and uh, there's two little metal pieces. They come out pretty easy. If they're stuck in there, you can just get them out with pliers. I'm not going to be taking the windshield out of this one because I already have an Explorer uh, taken apart to do this project with. And that is the Explorer that I screwed up my sunroof and windshield on. I thought it was a great idea to tape it up and use spray primer before I did the paint. And the primer leaked through the painter's tape and it clouded the windshield and it removed it. The first thing I'm going to do with this customization is cut out this back wheel. So if you're in the driver's seat, it's on your left hand side. But if you're in the back of the car looking at it, it's on your left hand side. But if you flip it over, it's the back wheel on your right hand side. So just make sure you cut out the right wheel. Uh, if you have anxiety about that kind of stuff like me, you can just bring up a uh, photograph of the T-Rex attacking the vehicle. And uh, he has his foot on the car and he has the tire in his mouth. So you can clearly see what tire you need to cut out. I just took apart a, a fresh out of box Metal Explorer. However, I am going to be customizing an already customized Explorer. When I did my uh, Explorer Customs, I watched a video on YouTube by Nathy Vader. Uh, he has a very good in-depth video. His Explorer is actually uh, way better than mine. I think he has lights and everything on his. So if you want to do that to your vehicle first, by all means, or you can kind of just paint it as you go, right? Like as you, uh, because if you're going to destroy it, you don't really have to be as careful with the uh, paint application because you can hide any blemishes and stuff uh, on the vehicle just with mud. I used a Dremel to cut out the tire very carefully and I uh, used a bit of sandpaper to trim down around the edges to make it as round as possible. And then I cut out little bits on the inside because I'm going to use Milliput to uh, make the inner wheel. It still has to be sanded down a bit to make it uh, a little bit more round, but it'll work. Next, I uh, used a Dremel to cut the roof section. I'm going to take this roof part and make two more cuts right here and right here because the uh, back end is bent down a bit. It's really hard to see exactly how it's crushed in the pictures. There's a lot of screenshots and stuff of the crushed vehicle, but they're really dark. And I believe the vehicle that's in a tree is actually different than the crushed vehicle on the ground. I don't know, the, the front windshield kind of looks like it's raised up a little bit more so that they could shoot better in it with uh, Tim and Alan. I'm going to cut these all off. I'm going to leave the windshield uh, ones for now. This one I know for sure this still has a little bit poking up but the other ones are pretty much crumpled. There's a couple different ways people do this. Some people have just used a heat gun and kind of just melted it down and that works and it looks pretty cool. But I want, to, I want to get it kind of as accurate as possible, so I've applied the roof with a whole bunch of uh, crazy glue and patience. It looks decent. I've used Milliput to fill in uh, some of the sidebars, and I've used pieces of some of the sidebars. Now, these aren't uh, fully done. When the Milliput dries, I'm going to shave them down with a pen knife to give them uh, sharper, more like square, dented-looking angles taken the doors and cut them all down and I'm going to save these pieces because I'm going to use some of them cut up to uh, to rebuild part of the doors like this. I lowered the uh, that top bubble part so it's more crushed. I find it looks better like that and uh, I chopped off those top lights and I chopped off that uh, lamp in the front starting to look a lot more uh, like the actual Crushed Explorer now. This milliput's gonna be dry soon, then I can start sharpening uh, those edges up to make it look more like bent steel. Messy art space. Every time I do an art project, it's like I pull a pin and throw a grenade in my area. It was uh, quite the headache, but I have rebuilt all of these doors so that they can still open and close. 
got these bent bars uh, shaved down and painted black. So they look a lot better now. Get back one here, this one here. Yeah, so I think it's ready to put back together. I've already got this console painted, thankfully, so I don't have to do that. Uh, when you're putting the Explorer back together, the trickiest part uh, are these pins and uh, hooking in your front doors because they have the kind of, it's kind of tricky. You hook them in into this while you're putting it up through. And when you put the base into the Explorer, you have to be very careful that all of your pins are lined up with your doors or else you're gonna have a you're gonna have some trouble with it and I've got the wheel painted now too all right now it's time for mud application first I was going to use just brown paint uh, acrylics for the mud but I got a package from Jurassic Pete a couple weeks ago and lo and behold he put mud in the package hey is that real mud uh Toro what are you doing up here I need to use the bathroom well, you have to use the litter box, but, but the cat uses that. This is awesome. I've applied the mud and it turned out great. That mud is a very good product. Look at that. So when this dries, I'm just gonna add some uh, gloss Mod Podge to the mud, just to give it a little bit more shine and it'll be done. It is finished. The mud paint is a bit shiny itself, but adding that extra bit of gloss Mod Podge helps it pop a bit. Anyway, I'm really glad with how it turned out. I think it looks great. I have always wanted my very own crushed Ford Explorer, and now I've got one. Let's see how it looks upside down. Excellent. Very good. Let's compare it to a uh, new explorer. Wow, you had a rough day, Mr. Ford Explorer. Hey, can I pretend to be the T-Rex? If you don't stop interrupting me, I'm gonna set up your containment area again. Hey, you wouldn't do that, would you? I think the trickiest part was uh, building these doors a different size so they all open and shut. That was tricky, but it works. Excellent. Hey, I like to crush stuff. <laughs>